Hendrix was just otherworldly. To me, his style was so indicative of his, of his personality because him and the guitar were sort of one. Jimmy could play everything, anything he could think of. You know, he used to play on the broom. He could just make the guitar talk. This guy is just unbelievable. It was Jimmy in front of a sort of mediocre rhythm section. He touched into that ether that lies in between dimensions. No one could follow Hendrix. The biggest frustration for most musicians, right, is the head works faster than their physical capacity to play the instrument. Jimmy never had that problem. He went on stage and I plugged him into Eric's amp and he did, you know, the Howling Wolf song, Killing Floor. And he wipes cream off the stage? And I thought, well, this guy's a player. There was this uh, band rehearsing on the stage I trying to learn a song. You know, like we were, we were just thrown together. You know, we weren't friends, we never met or anything. And I have never in my life witnessed so much power. All of these other rock stars were in these nightclubs. And you can see the look on Clapton's face was this changes everything. And Hendrix had completely taken over. And Jimmy told me one time, he said, Leon, I wish the guitar was a bigger instrument. He was creating new things that weren't even, they had to invent. Jimmy, to me, was a searcher. I think he was touched by God to, to do that music. And I think he was from another planet. He played upside down backwards. You know, he was like a dyslexic genius. And the things he used to do with that guitar was just beyond all reason. This guy's controlling his feedback. The fingers in his right hand, when he played lefty, were so strong that it almost sounded like he was playing bottleneck. He had just a way of knowing where these notes were, and he would drape his fingers over, over the strings in such a way that he knew exactly what he was hitting and what he shouldn't be hitting. But if you look at the way that he formed chords, they were sort of uniquely, um, or unique to him. He had the whammy bar under his arm, see, the top so he could use the whammy bar without taking his hand off the string. One stage, it's all in the world. That's, that's your whole life. He shocked the hell out of me by saying, well, that should be the first one for our record. In the middle of the song, he just picked his guitar up and played it with his teeth. Setting his guitar on fire and all that voodoo stuff. He had some kind of capacity to take more drugs than anybody else. He died due to lack of interest. That stupid moniker, you know. Her story just did not jive with what I saw on the ground when I was there in his room and the carting out the body. Well, he never would have been a quiet, retired old man. He wanted to write symphonies. He said, Leon, I want, I want this giant, or I want a thousand violins over here and a thousand cellos. It would have been fucking horrendous. <laughs> he would have gone into fusion. Jimi Hendrix was just, well, a one-off. He was the standard. He is the standard still to this day. Nobody's topped him. You'll never see anything like him again. It really made him just a fascinating fucking musician. You can't hold down the, uh, the coattails of a whirlwind. <laughs> First time I heard Jimi Hendrix play, I figured, you know what, I should probably go find another instrument to play.